my the third election as head of council, uh, so that would have been in 1980. Ottawa City Councillor Mary Ann Wilkinson is celebrating the 40-year anniversary of her first election. Her political career keeps her busy at meetings, events and ribbon cuttings. But in May 2007, Wilkinson attended a different kind of press conference. In front of her council colleagues and members of the media, Mary Ann announced she had been diagnosed with breast cancer. She didn't hold the press conference to talk about herself, instead to encourage women to get a mammogram. Because in her case, a mammogram found the lump in her breast early, and therefore she was diagnosed as stage one. Her prognosis was good. I heard from other people that because of that, a number of people went and had their mammograms. Just days after the press conference, Mary Ann had a lumpectomy and began radiation. And just days after that, she was back at City Hall. The point was it's there, I can't do anything about it being there, so let's get rid of it and get on with life. And that's the attitude that I took. Well, I have a busy life, so I don't have time to have cancer. <laughs> These days, Marianne is busy talking about city projects like Lansdowne Park or Light Rail. But she also keeps the message going that early detection is key. If you haven't had mammograms and you're 50 or over, get into the regular program right now. It pinches a bit, but that's very short-lived. And she believes, as a public figure, she has the perfect platform to spread the word. It's kind of a responsibility that we have if we're in a position where we can encourage people to do something they should be doing anyway, then we shouldn't keep it just to ourselves. In Ottawa, Annette Gurner, A Morning.